Welcome back to my channel. In order for our orchid to bloom intensively, we have made uh, natural mixtures in our previous videos to make them grow a flower branch in a short time. Orchids that bloom every 6 months need calcium and potassium to grow these branches of flowers. When the orchid that grows the flower branch begins to open its flowers, what do we need to do for it to have a longer lasting and abundant flower and how do we transfer this to our plant? Here we will learn that in this video. As you can apply to all plants, we will also give phosphorus to our orchids with cucumbers. Cucumbers have 11% phosphorus and 27% potassium. In order to take these from the cucumber, and transfer them to our orchid, first peel the skins of the cucumbers that you normally throw in the trash. Remember, all plants that are starting to bloom need phosphorus to make high use of sunlight. To get this phosphorus, put cucumber shells in container filled with water. The shells will stay in this container for at least 5 days. Let this wait here, I'll show you how to apply this water in a moment. While the cucumber juice is brewing, let's give the calcium potassium support that the orchid needs. We will do this process with the potato peels that you normally throw in the trash. Peel the skins of potatoes that you have removed from the soil. Then dry these shells in the sun, they will dry out within a maximum of 2 days. If they break easily when you take the potato peels in your hands, they are completely dried out. Shred the dried potato peels until they turn into powder. In order for it to dissolve better in water, they must turn into powder in this way. You can store potato peels that have become powdery in a jar, so you will have potato fertilizer constantly at your hand. When you are going to prepare, to make a liter of liquid fertilizer, take a teaspoon of powder and add a liter of hot water. Let it melt by mixing it well and leave it to cool. Before using, mix again to dissolve the vitamins and minerals in the potato skins. Pass the mixture through cheesecloth and fill it into a spray bottle. Apply it to your orchid from the leaf, especially do it under the leaves and early in the morning so that the pores under the leaves of the orchids are open in the morning and this liquid takes up the minerals in the fertilizer more easily. Definitely do not let the liquid in contact with the flowers, just apply it to the leaves. Completely natural organic substances will be absorbed much more comfortably by the orchid. Thanks to potato fertilizer, we are providing calcium and potassium support, the leaves will be greener and the root development will be accelerated. It will also strengthen the flower structure. We are giving most of the potassium support of the phosphorus and potassium fertilizer that we will apply in a moment with potatoes. As I mentioned before, definitely do not touch the flowers, only use them on the leaves. Orchid flowers, whose petals are really sensitive, fade if they came contact with the water. Apply this mixture every 15 days on the leaves. Let's see the cucumber peel I prepared from the phosphorus fertilizer. The phosphorus fertilizer whose juice turns green after 5 days is ready for use. We will give phosphorus fertilizer from the roots, which is most needed by our orchids trying to grow its flowers. Pour this water into roots of our orchid standing in a potting container. Fill it completely. Soak the orchid, which we have filled completely with liquid phosphorus fertilizer in this water for about 10 minutes. Let the roots absorb the water well. Our orchid which waited for about 10 minutes absorbed enough water. When the color of the roots turn green, we can understand that they completely absorb water, 
Now we will descend the water in the container into the container of our other orchid. So you can rest all your orchids in this water for 10 minutes to make sure that the phosphorus fertilizer is completely absorbed by the roots. Definitely do not leave water in the pot lid. If you give a lot of water to an orchid that is opening its flowers, the flowers fade and fall out. On the contrary, you need to reduce the amount of water when the flowers open. It will be enough to water your orchid with this phosphorus and potassium fertilizer every 15 days. But do not water without checking the color of the roots. Do not water if the roots are green. Water if the roots color is grey. Although this orchid you are looking looks punny, we have given it enough minerals in time to make it give a flower branch. Important thing is, to be able to give the right vitamin as needed when your plant needs it. You will also see in the video that I will publish in a week, that these orchids will open their flowers and these flowers will stand on their branches for a long time. Put your orchids in front of a window with a light and enjoy watching them bloom. We have come to the end of another video. Share this video so that everyone can see it and comment on it. At least write feedback such as simple thank you or a suggestion. If you liked the video, please remember to click on the like. If you have just come to my channel, subscribe and activate the bell to support my channel. See you in my next videos.